Hello, and welcome to Nana's Kitchen. I'm Dorothy from Rossville, Georgia. And when your best friend sends you a message to say, I really want sorbet, how can I make a low carb keto sorbet? Hmm, you make sorbet. Hey, Pat. Um, I made some sorbet for a friend of mine, and I want to um, do the tasting on here. I've already done the sorbet. It was a an experiment. Hey, Sharon. And um, I just want to tell you about it. And then, um, you know, we'll ta taste it here in just a second. All right. So, hey, Pam. My One of my dearest friends, Julie Jackson, sent me a text. Hey, Rob. And she was like, I want to make a sorbet. Can I do this? Can I do that? And I'm like, well, you can't use this. You need to use this, you know, but I don't know if it'll set up. And um, so I decided to try it in, in my kitchen. Um, not the, re the ingredients that she wanted um, because I don't have those. She was thinking maybe some Kool-Aid. Um, and I, so I'm going to practice with those ingredients also. But um, I thought sorbet, really, frozen fruit, uh, simple syrup. Well, simple syrup isn't um, keto unless I make it keto. So I made, and it's still popping hot, uh, simple syrup. So I just took, um, it, Shireen, this is super simple. Um, I took two cups of monk fruit, one cup of water. I put it in a pot that is non-stick, and I stirred that until all of the um, in, the sugar, the monk fruit, was totally dissolved, and then I let it go on a low boil until uh, for about 20 to 25 minutes. Just reducing that down, this was the outcome, okay? And so, um, after that, I took my um, Ninja. Um, it's my high-speed blender. My uh, food processor was broken over the Christmas, so I don't have one. But, um, and I would say probably the food processor might have been a little easier, but my Ninja is pretty strong. Arisha, Angie, hello. Hey, Loretta. Um, and so I put frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries, and I had a few fresh strawberries, so I chopped them up and threw them in there and started processing them. Then I added a about a quarter cup of the simple syrup. You could have added however much for your taste. And then I added a splash of um, almond milk. Guys, look at this. That is sorbet. And it is delicious. Mmm. It was that quick. Hey, Angie. So, when your friend asks you for sorbet, you make sorbet. And now, tomorrow morning, I will deliver her sorbet. Mmm. Guys, the longest part of the process was making simple syrup. But now I have a jar of simple syrup. Two cups of monk fruit. One cup of water. Stir until it's dissolved. Bring it down to a low, uh, just a very low bubble. Um, hey, Sharon, I made sorbet. And uh, let that reduce down. Again, two cups of monk fruit, one cup of water. And there you have it. Um, and then for the sorbet, I added frozen strawberries and blueberries. I didn't measure it because I just filled up my, um, I think it's eight cups. Mm, if I can see, nope. I have a six cup 
Um, and then I have a nine, a ten cup. So I have a six cup and a ten cup in my um, ninja. So I did it in my six because again, I I didn't know if it was gonna work. And so um, I filled up about half of that with my blueberries and strawberry frozen. And then I added about a cup of fresh strawberries just because I had them left over. I added about a quarter a cup of my simple syrup and then um, let that process down so there was no chunks. It's very smooth and creamy. Very refreshing. And then I added just a splash of almond milk because I felt like it needed um, a little more liquid in there. And that splash was less than a quarter of a cup. I mean, liter literally just a splash. Just enough to where it would continue to process. Hey, Sandra. Mm. And there you have it. And this is, I mean, this has been sitting out here probably a good 10 or 15 minutes before I decided to come to talk to you about it. There you have it, guys. Sorbet. Uh, if you could use another sugar substitute. Mm, I don't know. S my favorite is the monk fruit. Um, and so, since this is my first attempt at it, I didn't try another sugar substitute. I can't imagine that it wouldn't work uh, as long as it will dissolve in the water as it cooks. What is your favorite, Loretta? I just, the monk fruit, um, my cousin introduced me to that and I loved it. And it doesn't have that aftertaste that a lot of them have. And so, I just use the monk fruit. I do use um, Swerve on a couple of others, but on this one I use the monk fruit, so I don't I don't know what other substitute. Guys, if you've caught me live, put a one in the comment. Tell me where you're coming from. If you are catching me on the replay, hashtag replay. If you would like this recipe, um, please put group. I do need to be your friend if you would like to be in the group where I store uh, this recipe and others. I will put this up as soon as I can. I'm a couple of recipes behind, but I'm trying to get that all worked into my life. Um, I've had my four-year-old grandson who has been a dream. Hey, Ruth Ann, love and kisses to you. Uh, we took him to Pine Mountain today to the Wild Safari. And it's, oh, we always have a blast. We rent their van and some food and we drive through and we laugh at the long tongues of the animals as they come to the car to get the food. Uh, the giraffe was drooling all over my daughter, which we were hysterical. So we had, and my sister, oh my gosh. If you ever want to laugh, you have to go with us just to watch my sister. There is a bison there, number three, who she is named Brad. And every time we go, Brad follows her through the park. He doesn't bother to come to anybody else because he knows my sister is the weakest link. And it's going to give him the entire cup of food. So, and she's just going to keep doing it. So, <laughs> she and Brad have a um, quite funny relationship through the park. So, um, he will even try to lick her hand as he's licking the food, and which freaks her out. So, we had a great time. Laura, we just talked about, I didn't make it on the live because it was an experiment today, but it turned out so wonderful. I made a sorbet for a friend of mine, and I'm so excited to take it to her. Super simple, but I did start with a simple syrup of two cups of monk fruit, one cup of water, boil that down, uh, let it simmer on a very, very, very low boil for about 20 minutes. Um, and then I used a quarter of cup of, uh, in with frozen blueberries and strawberries and a splash of almond milk. Blended all that together till it was super smooth. It's starting to melt now, so I'll, mm. I'm gonna jump off here and enjoy the little bit of a treat that I've made and then um, 
excited to have her try it tomorrow when I take it to her. Guys, it's been wonderful to have you in my kitchen. I always enjoy having you here. Remember, if you would like to have these recipes, you need to be a friend of mine. Please uh, send me a friend request and, um, and then send me a private message to add you to the group. I just want to add you only if you want to be added and um, I will tag you on my sorbet. For those of you who are in the group already, it's hashtag bike club and it'll be Nana's sorbet. All right, guys, have a great evening. Bye.